new to 2026 aspirants so your midterms are ahead and we have already completed the chapter that is D and F block and from this chapter you will be also getting MCQs question and in this video I am going to discuss almost 30 MCQs and almost uh, 20 FIBs or fill in the blank step questions so that you can have a thorough practice of them okay. So let us directly move to the first question so these are the MCQs questions that were asked in 2025 sample question papers okay so the first question is the most stable manganese compound is so this was asked in sample question paper one okay there was one mcq uh, like you can expect one one marker question or one mcq in this particular chapter so the most stable one is mno2 next the correct order of melting point so we know that manganese has the least melting point and there is one option with that so definitely option number C here. Next, the identify the correct sequence of the unpaired electrons of the following ions. Okay, so for that we should know what are the unpaired electrons. So what are the elements I have? I have Ti3 plus, Cr3 plus, Fe3 plus, and Ni2 plus. Right. So now if you see scandium titanium, titanium is how much? 3D2 4S2. Right. Titanium is 3d2 4s2 scandium titanium in that you are losing 3 electrons 1 2 3 so there will be only one unpaired electron here chromium 3 plus has 3 unpaired electrons it is d3 configuration uh, fe plus 3 has d5 configuration we have done this nickel nickel configuration is 3d8 and 4s2 now 2 plus these two electrons will be losing okay and we have this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, it has also 2 unpaired electrons. So, the final uh, one which is having the maximum number of unpaired electrons is Fe3+. So, you have 3 options with Fe3+, you can eliminate this one. And the least one is definitely Ti3+, because yeah, so we have only 1 option with least one. So, we can eliminate other 2, correct answer will be option number C here. Now, let us move to the questions that I have got from your question bank that was released by PU in 2025. So, according to IUPSC, transition metals are defined as so transition metals are those metals which have incompletely filled d orbitals either in their ground state or in their common oxidation state so metals which have incomplete d shells either in the neutral or in their ions that is correct option number a here next the d block element not having general electronic configuration that is your palladium option number b here Next, uh, we have the electronic configuration of chromium is 3D5 4S1 instead of 3D4 4S2 it is due to. So, we know that it is to get a stable electronic configuration of half filled configuration. So, what happens this one electron from S orbital moves to 3D5 uh, orbital because the or 3D orbital because the difference between or the energy gap between 3D and 4S is not much. So, how can we write this the energy gap between the two sets 3d and 4d is big enough no it is not big enough next we have uh, the energy gap between two sets 3d and 4s is small enough to prevent the electron from 4s orbital no it cannot prevent right it is moving here the okay one second to, to, to prevent the electron entering the 4s orbital so electron is not entering s orbital in electron is entering d orbital so this is also wrong next uh, is again it is given big enough so this is wrong here you can see the energy gap between the two sets of orbital is small enough to prevent the electron entering from 3d orbitals so the electron entering from uh, to prevent the electron entering the 3d orbitals okay next question we have among copper mercury cd and cn which is not regarded as transition element so mercury uh, cadmium and CN are not uh, uh, considered as transition elements because they have fully filled d orbitals in their ground state and also in their common oxidation state. Next the orbitals of the transition elements that protrude to the periphery of an atom more than the other elements is d orbitals ok. F orbitals are not present in transition elements d orbitals are present so option number C here. Next we have the element having a minimum volatility among the following is so we know that tungsten has higher melting point very high metallic bonding so it is less volatile. 
नेक्स्ट मूविंग टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट अमॉन्ग द फॉलोइंग इज मेटल्स हैव वेरी हाई एंथेल्पी ऑफ एटोमाइजेशन एंड टेन टू बी नोबल इन देयर रिएक्शंस मेटल्स हैव वेरी लो एंथेल्पी ऑफ एटोमाइजेशन नो मेटल्स हैव लो एंथेल्पी ऑफ एटोमाइजेशन नो very high enthalpy of atomization and to be highly reactive no when they have very high enthalpy of atomization it becomes very difficult to break the metals or the reactions to happen so that is why they are in at option number a here next uh, metals of 4d and 5d series have greater enthalpies of atomization than the corresponding elements of 3d elements that is correct more frequent metal metal bondings are found in heavier transition metals this is also correct so both uh statement 1 and 2 are correct that is option number c here uh next in transition elements a regular decrease in the atomic red eye is a result of a regular decrease in the atomic red eye is a result of so filling of n minus 1 f orbitals before n d orbitals due to which there is lanthanide contraction so that is option number a here next we have the element with least density so as we move along the period density increases so scandium is having least density next exchange energy is approximately proportional to the total number of possible pairs of parallel spins in generate orbitals no it is degenerate orbitals so total number of possible pairs of parallel spins in degenerate orbitals that is option number c here next we have the element having a stable minimum oxidation state of plus 1 so you know cu plus 1 is very stable because it has d10 configuration next we have which of the following transition metals cannot displace hydrogen again copper because its reduction potential is very high next the ability of fluorine to stabilize the highest oxidation state of transition elements is due to high lattice energy and high bond enthalpy option number b next we have the stability of cu2 plus rather than cu plus in aqueous solution is due to so cu2 plus is stable because of negative hydration enthalpy right because of more negative hydration enthalpy is not of cu plus it is of cu plus okay here we can eliminate more positive negative uh, no so more negative hydration enthalpy which compensates the second ionization enthalpy that is option number d here next we have the correct order of oxidizing power so it will oxidize others means itself it will get reduced right so higher the oxi uh, i can write higher the oxidation number is proportional to oxidizing power okay so if my oxidation number is very high then i will get reduced also better when i'm getting reduced better i'll behave as a very good strong oxidizing agent so here if you see you have here uh, plus 3 oxidation state here you have plus 6 and here you have plus 7 so that is why option number a here next we have the fe3 plus ion shows paramagnetic and magnetic moment of 5.92 bm so number of unpaired electrons here is 5 and fe3 plus ions have d3 electronic configuration right fe plus 3 ions have d3 configuration ion this is wrong because they have d5 configuration ion so one is correct and two is incorrect uh is correct and statement one is yeah statement one is correct and statement two is incorrect okay option number d here next we have the element with maximum magnetic moment in its divalent ion is so we know that mn2 plus has the in divalent ion in cr2 plus you have d4 configuration in mn2 plus you have d5 configuration in zn2 plus there is no unpaired electron in fe2 plus you have four unpaired electrons so maximum number of unpaired electrons then maximum magnetic moment that is why option number b here next uh, transition metal a forms highest oxidation state only with oxygen which is acidic and covalent and its divalent ion has a maximum magnetic moment so just now we know the element must be manganese because its divalent ion has the magnetic uh, maximum magnetic moment the basic oxide is chromium oxide okay that you should know it's given in the book the composition of chromite ore is fecr2o4 option number d iron chromite which of the following is not correctly matched pdcl2 manufacture of polyethene that is wrong so option number 4 here 
नेक्स्ट वी हैव द रेडियस ऑफ एल ए थ्री प्लस इज वन जीरो सिक्स पिकोमीटर विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग गिवन वैल्यूज विल बी क्लोजेस्ट टू द रेडियस ऑफ ल्यूटेशियम थ्री प्लस सो इफ यू रिमेंबर लैंथनम इज द स्टार्टिंग एलिमेंट एंड ल्यूटेशियम इज द लास्ट एलिमेंट राइट सो एंड एज आई मूव अलॉन्ग द पीरियड देर इज लैंथनाइट कॉन्ट्रैक्शन देर विल बी डिक्रीज इन द एटोमिक साइज नाउ इफ दिस वन इज वन जीरो सिक्स दिस वन विल डेफिनेटली बी लेस देन वन जीरो सिक्स सो दिस आई कैन एलिमिनेट दीज ऑल ऑप्शन so it has to be option number d it cannot be equal right it has to be less than that so option number d here next which of the following oxidation states is the most common among the lanthanoids so plus 3 oxidation state that is the most common oxidation state next percentage of lanthanide in mic metal 95% option number d then although plus 3 is the characteristic oxidation state for lanthanoids but cerium also shows plus 4 oxidation state because of so cerium in its plus 4 oxidation state gains a noble gas configuration okay so that is why it is most stable so option number c here next we have question number 27 in a chemical behavior lower members of lanthanoids is similar to metal x and higher members resemble metal y okay so the metal x and y are so it is definitely your calcium and aluminum it lies in between these two right the transition elements next the trivalent lanthanide ion to be colorless is or are so la plus 3 is colorless so option number b here next uh, lanthanides on heating with carbon can produce all of this ln3c ln2c3 and ln2c2 and next we have actinoids shows the maximum oxidation state is np which shows a plus 7 oxidation state here okay now let's move to the fill in the blanks type question so here we have this one the ionization energy is dash only slightly along the 3d series so along the period the ionization energy increases okay the loss of dash increases the stability the loss of exchange energy increases the stability all the transition metals except dash form uh, ionic metal oxide so it is scandium scandium does not form next as the dash of a metal increases the ionic character decreases as the oxidation number increases the ionic character decreases element with more number of unpaired electrons in 3d uh, series is chromium okay because it is having six unpaired electrons moving to the next one we have the high of dash of the sixth group elements is due to the more unpaired electrons uh, the high melting point okay next dash ion is tetrahedral chromate ion is tetrahedral dash is the primary standard in volumetric analysis k2cr2o7 potassium permanganate is isostructural with kclo4 right that uh, hf and zirconium will have the identical radii next one uh some dash oxides are used as phosphorus in television screen so lanthanide oxides are used here actinoids generally show plus 3 oxidation state acidified permanganate solution oxidizes oxalates to carbon dioxide next sodium chromate when acidified with sulfuric acid gives you uh sodium dichromate okay this option is slightly wrong but this is dichromate next we have brass is an alloy of copper and zinc okay moving to the next one we have spin only magnetic moment of mn2 plus is 5.9 because it has five unpaired electrons the elements of 3d series to have positive standard electrode potential is copper it has 0.34 volt the oxidation state of fe in feco5 is 0 next we have the iron dash is strong reducing agents and will liberate hydrogen from a dilute uh, acid the cr2 plus you know is a very strong reducing agent then dash compounds are usually non stoichiometric interstitial compounds are usually non stoichiometric okay so that's all students in this one mark one marker section we have discussed all the important mcqs and uh, fill in the blanks if you still have any doubt do let me know in the comment section and thank you for watching and all the very best